Hello, welcome to episode four of Starting From Scratch. I must say this project is fascinating me beyond what I expected because I'm learning so much about what it's actually like to learn this instrument. It's also rather daunting because it feels like this huge mountain I'm attempting to climb and don't really quite know how exactly I want to go about it because the project is so big. So what I've noticed very, very much is that my hands are not able to perform the motor skills at all. So I'm going to have to go several steps back because I've got to start with something I can already do. However small that is, because if I'm not starting with something which I can do, I can't build up. And I also need to make sure that I can train my hands to do what they're supposed to do. Particularly my string hand, it's very, very difficult for me to even just perform this movement to be able to put my fingers on the string in a round form. So most helpful exercise for that will definitely be left hand pizzicato or in my case I'm just calling it string hand pizzicato because that trains exactly that so that's what I'm doing quite a lot of but I can't do that very much because I'll get blisters so I have to be very careful not to do it too much feels very difficult the e string is still okay the lower strings get difficult. Yeah, first finger is difficult. The E string is even more difficult because I've got to come over even more. The fingers have to come from above and my hand is finding that very difficult. But this is training it. G string even more. But that's what my hand is supposed to be able to do. This exercise is probably the most helpful. To a certain extent, at least on the E string, I'm feeling that I can sort of do it a little bit. And I can even... to a certain extent influence the sound. I think that's what's most important, that I mustn't expect myself to do something which is so difficult that I can't influence the sound anymore because if I can't influence the sound, then I'm helpless, I can't do anything. The whole point of playing the violin is that it sounds and if I can't influence the sound, then there's no point. So I'm going to have to be very humble about all of this and just start with the absolute basics so that I can influence the sound. Okay, now I'm going to see if doing the same thing with both hands, if that actually helps. Because my left hand can do left hand pizzicato. My right hand can't do string hand pizzicato. So let's see. I'm just going to tell my right hand to do the same thing as the left hand's doing and I'm going to try not to think further about it. It's amazing how much easier that is. Seems like my right hand can do it if the left hand is doing it as well. It was so much easier, all the little adjustments, just by telling my right hand to do the same as the left hand is doing. Too bad I can't practice everything this way, but it's really interesting how the brain works. Okay, I wonder if this principle will help me with the bow as well. I certainly need a bit more time to adjust my bow hold, but let's just see. Okay, that does actually feel easier. I'm just telling my left hand to do exactly 
what the right hand is doing. I'm just telling it to mirror. Now let's see if I can do this. That's a bit more difficult with the left hand. It's also more jerky. But I'm not as tense as I am when I just work with the bow in the left hand. This is harder. But it does seem to help. The fact that one hand can do it and the other one just gets the task to mirror what the other one is doing. This is fascinating. It really is because the difference is so great because when I just do it with the left hand, I can't do this at all really and I'm losing the bow hold. As soon as I do it with both hands, I'm just mirroring and although it's not yet how I want it and my forefinger is about to slide off, I'm less tense and I do feel that that's a little bit easier. Certainly this one is. This exercise is one of the hardest ones. It took me a long time before I could do that. So if I can even only do it a little bit, Okay, a really long way to go, but this was what was interesting me most, if it would help me to do the same thing with both hands. So, fascinating thing that I'm doing here. Very interesting how the brain works, that just by doing it with the other hand as well, it seems to help the hand which is performing the new task. And yeah, very, very interesting, very difficult. <laughs> Okay, subscribe to my channel if you want to see where this is going and how we take it from here. And yeah, happy practicing to everyone.